It's March the 1st in Lake Lion and out Lake Lion for this month, I can tell. I'm Dana Durnford, your host. I also go by the name of the nuclear proctologist.org. <laughs> if you don't smile when you're saying that, then you read it wrong. So it always takes a couple of minutes to get up to smash and speed. Let's cover uh, some important headlines from the last number of weeks. There's still uh, 760 million people locked down in China. 2.5 million in South Korea. And the list goes on. 12 communities in Italy. So it's airborne. How far does the sneeze travel? We got another story today claiming it only goes six feet. It's actually 200 feet. And the people that are saying six feet are not doing it for something to do. They're doing it because that's the script. It lasts on surfaces for nine days. That's why I don't want you. That's why I want you to wash your hands all the time. And. They're still after saying 30 minutes to three hours, quoting the World Health Organization. They've caused us nothing but grief since this started. And uh, National Geographic was quoting two months. Let's just stick with the nine days because the two months scares the daylights out of me. One in 19 people were being diagnosed. They figured um, the this was like two weeks ago. So we'll just we'll get up to the, today's headline right away. Incubation periods, 24 days. We've seen uh, cases of 28. And we've seen cases where it didn't show up, but it infected lots of people. Yay. And it's 20 times more likely than SARS to bind to the human cells. There was another study we covered on Friday showing it's a thousand times the World Health Organization warns their trolls, I'm sorry, that trolls and conspiracy theorists are undermining their response. Their response is doing the exact same thing I'm doing, except they're doing it, all the media is putting them on a pedestal, and they're reporting whatever the media reported earlier that day. That's all they're doing. They're consultants. They don't make vaccines. They don't participate in that. They're consultants. That shouldn't, we don't need them. They shouldn't exist, right? All of our drugs, by the way, to treat the coronavirus depend on Chinese suppliers. Oh, joy. And when you're, they're going to disinfect every city in China four times over the next year, is what they're saying. But they're going to do every city right away. This and we've seen examples of a hundred dead animals, seventeen species dropping dead because of the way they're mixing this stuff. And nobody, I mean nobody, is allowed to imply or have a conversation or even postulate this could have been escaping from a laboratory. Because we know every country that has a facility will take these viruses and and flus, and they'll uh, weaponize them in the laboratories. That's a fact. So why would we exclude that? Why the big whoop to attack anybody that talks about it? Really should worry the daylights out of everybody. Uh, half a trillion. It's now, I think the number now is nine trillion just in the last two weeks. It was almost six trillion last week. Monday morning is coming. And I know some countries now have uh, put a... I'll turn the music down, I forgot, they're in the background. I know that um, some countries are, have frozen the stock trading in their countries, smaller countries. But we're talking about financial Armageddon. It's, most of these people were thieves anyway, so it don't matter. But this was uh, January the 25th. So there's been a lot going on since then, right? And 
So it's around nine trillion. Which, by the way, if you look at it, nine trillion puts us in a position that was last time we seen anything come close to that was nineteen twenty eight, the Great Depression. South Korea reported first virus death. Now, this was a, the original headline about South Korea. So they locked down 2.5 million people. They didn't urge them. You get a fine if you go on out. That's called a lockdown, see? And this was uh, the study I alluded to earlier, thousand times as strong as the SARS virus. And just remember, the people that make the vaccines have joked about killing the population. Some of them, a professor called for killing the population, 90% of them with Ebola. He's not cruel. So when you see people in paper suits going around outside of Fukushima nuclear meltdown, which can't protect you from radiation, by the way, or from the flu, but it's meant to make them think that they're protected. The World Health Organization ain't going to be wearing paper suits. The spread of coronavirus means that for now, things will only get worse for the global economy. Will only get worse. Almost $6 trillion last week. There's people in the stock market that have still never slept since Friday. They're like me where they pull out half their hair. Things will only get worse. Yeah, we'll see tomorrow. Like, this is Twilight Zone stuff right there. Look at this. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, nothing to see here. It's just a flu, I tell you. <laughs> the World Health Organization, which is an umbrella of the United Nation, which is people that supersede your sovereignty in your countries for some reason, says there's a need to prepare for a pandemic, but the global market should calm the freak down as the coronavirus wrecks havoc on the economy. I'm not worried about the economy. I'm worried about you and your loved ones and your friends and your families. And I've covered these World Health Organization, how they artificially deflated the numbers when they first showed up, which was way late in the game, by the way. So the stocks would go up and people, their friends could cash in, right? You've done it twice. We covered it. We provided the documentation. We don't make conjectures and opinions. We provide the documentation for the assertions that we have. World, and I, we being me. <laughs> this one man show. World Health Organization stocking up on ventilators to combat coronavirus. Yeah, that's not panicking at all. No panic there, Dana. Coronavirus may have been around Seattle for weeks. Like, that's not good, trust me. Because it's such, like I showed you at the beginning of the show, there's such a latency, right? Men means hundreds of undiagnosed cases. If that's all it was, we'd be laughing. A man in his 50s died in Washington on Saturday, and he finally admitted they got a problem. Fisher said 50 more people in a nursing facility got sick. They figured it's the virus. Uh, we're, we're testing for the virus. Not food poisoning, but the virus. Okay. <laughs> Don't tell us anything, because, like, first off, you're as intelligent as any of these people that we're going to be right tonight, dirty, incompetent inbreeds that got the job because their parents had a job and their parents had a job, and they're incompetent and incapable, and not they're not motivated to do their job. It's not a job. They were born into it. There was an entitlement in their eyes. When something happens like this, they're going to crawl in a corner, turn the lights off, stick the flashlight up, up in their face and go, it's not happening! It's not happening! That's just what that's the people in church. They're not in church, but they're, they got the keys to the office where they're supposed to be somebody in church. They have been circulating the stage for six weeks. Touch you said two weeks. Make up your friggin' mind. 
I, I, I don't mind the two-week part anymore. Let's go back to two weeks instead of six weeks. Six weeks, bad. I believe we're facing an already substantial outbreak in Washington. Yeah, because you can't tell the truth for a second. I say all your teeth will fall out if you ever tell the truth. Your brain will go, <coughs> you can't tell the truth, stupid. It was not detected until now due to narrow case definitions requiring a direct travel. So unless you went to China, they wouldn't include you. Does anybody really think you're not letting this happen? Or are they just stupid? And flipping a coin doesn't count, by the way. Can't be both of them, or can it? China's coronavirus deception put the world at risk, which is what we've been saying. Well, I've been saying here. Well, not saying. It's providing the documentation to prove it. Senator Marco Rubio, Florida, blamed China's failure to share necessary information that could have contained the coronavirus for putting the world at risk as more countries reported the first deaths from the virus over the weekend. Yeah. In other words, China sat on their hands, pretending, and with the help of the World Organi Health Organization, which is outrageous for them to call themselves something like that, by the way. Dirty industry apologists would make sense. They've even intimidated the World Health Organization. Oh, sure they did. Absolute. I said, that's what happened. They didn't lie every day like we recorded them. And we, we, we showed that every day, right up until the stocks went way up again, and it cashed in. And then they'd done it again when they downplayed the numbers. We've been covering it since the 25th. It's Groundhog's Day for Dana. Moto, uh, motorcycling events now are cancelled. When, when you see any play, all these sporting events in different countries, but no symptoms in countries, Canceling sporting events? You you like you it's necessary to pay attention, see? Like I pray and hope every day that I'm wrong. I'd rather go back to boring old nuclear stuff than do what I'm doing here. But uh, it's impossible for me to do it when, and so what's the harm? Let's pretend I'm out on one of my expeditions and when the trip's over, I'll go back, I'll show up and start doing nuclear again, right? But right now, we got to cover this topic because we got so many goblin and goblish type people out there covering it. Speaking of goblins, please department and push a hoax saying they'll test people's myth for coronavirus. Tricking people saying coronavirus, you can get, the, or if you're, if you're a meth user, if it's in your house, you can get coronavirus from it. But what they end up doing is they disenfranchise themselves even more, if that's possible. But, but now, like a lot of media has finally come out and bashed them good. Police departments across the country are issuing fake warnings that crystal meth supply may be contaminated and encouraging addicts to turn over their drugs for testing. And so... When you ever see the symptoms with the police, Simpsons with the police, by the way, Simpsons are disgusting because they promote nuclear power, but remember the police is on their show going around beating everybody up and laughing about it all the time? That's not an accident. Encouraging addicts to turn over their drugs. Police are addicts, turn over your badges. Lebanon closes schools until March the 8th to curb the coronavirus spread. So Lebanon, we're seeing just uh, all these events canceled in many, many, I'm sorry, in all countries worldwide, all continents. Trump chief of staff suggests that people ignore the coronavirus news to calm, calm the stock markets. <laughs> That's not lunatic, is it? It gets worse. Of course. Mulvaney said he was asked by a reporter, what are you going to do today to calm the, mar calm the markets? It's like, really, what I might do today is to calm the markets is tell people to turn their television off for 24 hours. 
<clears throat> Still, the disease is absolutely real. You saw the president the other day, the flu is real. This is not Ebola, it's not SARS, it's not MERS. So he's, he doesn't know what it is, right? And they're, they're quoting him now just to attack the left, to attack the right, or the far left, the far right, the extreme left, the extreme right, the nihilistic left, the, the Mao right, the Pol Pot, the... They, so there's, there's, the parties were just to have a balance. They weren't to keep everybody devoid of, and hating and fighting with each other. And because everybody just... Uh, tch, a country that I skipped the headline for some reason, Romania. Romania, Linder, like we cover a lot of stories like that and I noticed the last couple of shows where communities will just buy everything in the supermarkets and they got no cases in their countries. 91 people quarantined, 7,000 kept in their home. But there's no cases. Then the 7,000 kept in your home. Scenes of chock full shopping carts, empty me, and dairy shelves added to the growing sense of panic gripping Romania. Confirmed the first and only case, and they just limbed the supermarkets. And then supermarkets across the country were stormed by panicking shoppers looking to stock up. That's the new norm, right? Uh, all the big bands, this is just a fraction of them, Green Day, BTS, The Pixies, Stormzy, World Tour Concerts Cancelled. There is something sinister happening on our planet. Coronavirus coffee. We covered him on Friday. I was calling him a fake. Now I got a headline to back it up. I call him fake because he, he fell on the ground, threw his jacket, and started coughing. And everybody started running in every direction. Except for security guards who tried to help. And then he got up and walked away. But he was filmed, apparently, anyway, him and his cronies with cameras and that. Prankster, security guards were filmed rushing to help the man. That was them doing it. So, like if, because of all, there's so many variations of these stories, you can expect that. There's, there's, they, if they didn't do that, they'd be working for media lying to you. Federal Reserve must quickly stop the coronavirus stock market crash, says a trader. Federal Reserve must quickly stop the crash, the stock market crash. So you see how arrogant these people are. You, you can't take your money back. The debate on whether the Federal Reserve must hold an emergency meeting and cut the interest rate to arrest, uh, which that's not what's going to happen, though, because you got you got a pandemic. This is not some some uh, rumor. This is the real deal. And uh, market crash, one of the hottest debates on Shithead Street. I'm sorry, Wall, Wall Street, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, Wall Street, that's what I meant. It. Traders and strategic stra uh, strategists are mixed on whether the feds need to go that route. However, strategists, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a strategist. A rate cut won't cure the coronavirus outbreak. That's some pretty clever thinking there, mister. Big cap stocks like Microsoft, Apple, Best Buy, Walmart, safe havens like Coca-Cola continue to be dumped aggressively. <laughs> it's true risk of the street and no ultimate buy singles apparent yet. Bye, bye, bye. Sell, sell, sell. They're the worst, the worst. Like, so, like, stock markets are not supposed to exist. Not under the Bill of Rights in Canada or the Constitution in America or the UK's Magna Carta, which is those three doctrines. Most countries' freedom is written off the back of those, right? Amazon tells all... 800,000 employees to stop travel in the U.S. and internationally. Now, Twitter just come out there for we went live and done the same thing. Uh, Twitter got a lot of people working for them, tell you what. 
not like Amazon, though, instructed uh, 800,000 employees, three quarters of a million employees, to avoid non essential travel. On Friday, Google employee cut in the company's your reach office tested positive. Now, I'm not going to say what I want to say because it's not nice to say it, I suppose. I wouldn't want to see a bunch of sick people go to Google and cough on door handles. That would break my heart. That's what that would do. <laughs> I might just go get the coronavirus so I can go do it myself, though. Okay, and that's, that's stupid. If I get it, I'm going to visit Google. How about that? Petition 63, because they censored me for so many years, was dark and everybody else. And put all media on a pedestal. In fact, under all of my videos, you see the World Health Organization shows up before you see me. Petition 63, who was diagnosed with coronavirus after a trip to Iran, exposed 40 people in Australia in her salon before showing symptoms, and they would have contaminated a lot of people. Iran uh, health minister spokesman, 43 dead, 593 confirmed. This is probably yesterday's headline. Today's headline will probably show up in a little bit. There's just so much of this stuff coming out. I never, I've never seen nothing like it before. So Korea told us stay home. As the infections passed 3,100, and so the, the actual numbers were over 3 million, right? There was 400,000 plus military are quarantined too. So South Korea's, uh, South Korea's news was, uh, was bludgeoning China pretty good. And then all of a sudden South Korea got hammered and you don't hear them bitching anymore, right? Interesting. So Koreans told to stay home as coronavirus infections surpassed 3,100. There's three headlines in a row. So there's no functional media anyway. So Korea urged citizens on Saturday to stay indoors as warned of a critical moment in the battle of the coronavirus after recording the biggest daily jump in infections, 813 new cases. 813 cases yesterday. Wow. For a country outside of China. China's locked down 760,000 people. 760 million people. Wuhan is still locked down. That whole province, you boys, well over 60 million locked down for five weeks. People can't go to work and pay their lights and power and telephone and heat, insurance, and provide food for themselves because they would have, most people live check to check, right? And you're seeing this now in many countries. Italy just done the same thing last week. Recording the biggest daily jump in infections, 813 new cases in just so Korea. So it's just going to grow like crazy. and. Um, I love the South Koreans, by the way. It's outrageous. And then the solution is lock everybody in their homes. And then uh, only the people that are in charge are the inbreeds of the inbreeds of the inbreeds. This is a, just a disaster. It shows you how incompetent they actually really are. In a nearby city, uh, in South Korea, LG displays to shut a plant down for disinfection after an employee of a bank, another company, in the same building tested positive. So this is extraordinary. This is a plague. I don't know about Everybody refuses to say the word pandemic because I already met all the qualifications of that. But this is an actual plague. And then the illness will destroy your kidney. It'll fill your lungs up with this gel. It's like a gel. It's not like mucus that you can hack up. This is a gel. This is why they want you to stock up on respirators. And there's an absurd amount of people in critical condition that would be dead if they didn't have respirators. Uh, pumping their lungs. 
secretive military base outside of Paris was hit by coronavirus. So France secretive base, who knows what that is. If not contained promptly, the outbreak could spell serious trouble for the French military, as the air base houses much more than low-ranking grunts. And so the only high-ranking are people are inbreeds of the inbreeds, right? you got to come from certain families to be a high-ranking military person. And everybody else is a grunt. And the grunts, of course, are the ones that does all the carries out the genocides at the orders of the inbreeds. South Korea reported a record 800 new cases. And then they, they like to use the word cult. So they, they're trying to desensitize that group of people and so they can carry out harshness on them, right? Coronavirus in Canada, they're saying we need more nurses, quarantine officers at the Canadian airports, border workers unions say. There's a, they represent 11,000 workers. They're taking home about a billion dollars a year, so the unions are serious kickback off that. They want quarantine officers. First off, we didn't have any quarantine officers pre coronavirus. So they want to create these jobs, is what they're saying, right? Public Health Agency Canada said the health risks associated with uh, COVID 19, they changed the name of that, right? To SARS COVID 19 is low for Canada. I just, I gave, they keep changing the name, I gave up on it. Perth shoppers clean the shelves, bottle of water, toilet papers, canned food, preparation for coronavirus. This is Australia, I guess. Perth? Yeah, Australia. People in Perth, Australia have started stocking up on every item in the book and preparations for doomsday. Your media is such a, just a weird, weird, media is a cult, right? So is the World Health Organization. All they're doing is, they're, they're not covering half, to, they're not giving you any context. They're just, uh, they're, like what I'm doing you, here is giving you con, a large scope context of what's happening worldwide. And I narrowed it down to just the important stuff and some commentary. Bought water, food, all snatched and gone. Country after country now. No fear, pilgrims in Saudi defy coronavirus. This is the stupidest thing. See that? This is all people. They told them not to gather up because there's a big infection going through the country. Emergency laws drawn up to tackle coronavirus if it sweeps the UK. Emergency laws drawn up. So they just superseded the Magna Carta, right, in the UK. But that matters because you got the Queen there and she runs, she makes it up as she's going along. Her and that vampire, what's his name down there? I can't remember who it is I'm trying to refer to. Ah, it don't matter. Measures being considered reportedly, reportedly include allowed in schools to ignore maximum class sizes and holding lessons outside the school in case there's a widespread staff absence, suspending lorry drivers' 56-hour-per-week limit of driving so supply chains can keep moving uh, if truckers get ill. And in a worst-case scenario... And the staff level collapses, army doctors could be sent into hospitals, which is going to be done anyway if it shows up. Coronavirus, don't bank on epidemics easing in the summer, by the way. And this is showing up in hot places and, and thriving. So, like your home is hot. You know, you know where I'm getting to? Planes are generally hot. 
So we've seen it thrive in hot environments. It grows on surfaces, lives there at room temperatures, which is pretty hot for most places. Don't bank on it easing in the summer because it's going to be a pandemic. It already is, obviously. And it's just, we're just at the very beginning of this thing. Coronavirus epidemic takes, it's a pandemic, by the way, takes a heavy toll on China's medical workers. There's enough infections in humans right now for it to sustain itself. I can't imagine why it would burn itself out in humans. It seems to like humans far too much. Well, that's what a virus needs a host, right? At least 66 cases of contagion and two deaths confirmed in northern prefecture of Japan. So it's all over Japan. Japan is still, for some, well, we know why they're hanging on to that fable of the Olympics, because the Olympics is supposed to be recovery Olympics for the multiple nuclear meltdowns that are still ongoing and contaminated most of the planet, but destroyed the Pacific Ocean. I've done the expeditions are up at my site uh, many years on, on the ocean doing expeditions because of nuclear fallout, right? We show totally destroyed the bases, the food chain, the oxygen chain, the carbon sequestering chain, and also uh, absurd amount of emaciated animals. been covering it for many, many years. Well, that's what I do, right? I'm a nuke, nuke expert. We deal with nuclear for the most part. But this is really on par with that kind of event. And so we had to switch gears. First off, to find out if this was real. And so far, we can't debunk the fact that this is real. So therefore, news on the death came from the governor of Hokkaido invited citizens to stay home. So there was a death in the northern prefecture. And so they're also locking everybody in their homes for the weekend. Do you really think they're going to let them out after the weekend? Keep them in for the weekend is not going to resolve it. Keeping them in like China for months might to start because this is so contagious. It doesn't make any sense unless you look at it as a pandemic and they're just slowly releasing information so they can liquidate their stocks and assets and gobble up resources before the world walks out the door. Like Italy woke up um, and they were locked, their cities were locked down, 12 communities were locked down. So they didn't have a chance to get ready. And they're planning on doing that to the rest of the planet. planet. Suzuki launched the unprecedented appeal on television. The people stay in their homes. Bye-bye, Japan. Suzuki launched the unprecedented appeal on television. The situation becomes serious. I like you people to refrain from going outside over the weekend to protect your lives and health. And that's exactly what uh, South Korea done, right? And they didn't get back outdoors after, right? Hey, you know, prove me wrong tomorrow. Make me look stupid tomorrow, hopefully. Following the sudden request by Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, this is a criminal, by the way, to close schools temporarily for a month, is more than temporarily, because you know that it's going to run its course. That's why he's doing all of this, this desperation, so they can loot the money while you, before you come out and actually admit it. So uh, soccer teams now, you can't do selfies, autographs, that's showing up symmetrical for sports. World Health Organization, Dr. Get ready for the coronavirus to arrive to a community near you. It's coming, man. A World Health Organization official told Matt Fry, people should expect the coronavirus to rise on, arrive on their doorsteps as the disease spreads globally. There'll be a few of them with pains of conscience are going to come out and tell the truth. They'll get reprimanded. I'll do that again. The best way to stop new cases is to shut down functions for a while. She stated, 
Dr. Harris mentioned the work of China and how the Chinese government managed to quell the initial outbreak of the virus in Wuhan to a point where new cases of coronavirus are decreasing in the country. They still got 760 million plus locked in their homes. Please beat the shit out of everybody that goes out the door. Nobody's going to say I got the flu because they stick you in one of those prison hospitals that they built in 10 days. If anybody thinks China's numbers is going down, you, should, you, you could probably get a job at the World Health Organization. That's the only qualification, apparently. France bans public gatherings of more than 5,000 people. Oh, and churches and other places. Break it to them gently. France has banned public gathering of 5,000 people and more over concerns involving the potential deadly coronavirus. Country top health official known Saturday. Coronavirus, radical idea to move thousands of vulnerable New Zealanders could prevent mass casualties. So they want to move uh, vulnerable people and isolate them so they don't get sick. They've done it before, right? That's what they've done in uh, Spanish flu. That's how they got around stuff like that. The ministry continued to consider a range of options. Protective sequestering was effective in countering the 1917-1918 influenza epidemic. That was actually a pandemic, right? went worldwide. Which killed millions of people around the world. Kills millions around the world, it's a pandemic. Kills millions, millions in your countries, it's an epidemic. It matters, trust me. The continuing rise in firm cases and deaths worldwide show the outbreak is on a firm trajectory to becoming a global pandemic. They actually know the difference. Go figure. Italian man who entered Legos, the coronavirus, attempts to escape the quarantine when he actually didn't. He said he was thinking about it. And the nurse was like, that's outrageous. He was thinking about leaving. He said it was too hot and too many mosquitoes. According to Punchin.com, a health worker told the hosp at the hospital told a newspaper that the patient threatened to escape quarantine over the poor state of the medical facility. But he actually didn't try to escape him. That's what they implied, right? So the media is just revolting what it's been doing. At least half a million people are infected with coronavirus in China. Way more than that, brother. China isn't a country that cares a lot about human lives or human rights. The number one focus is money. March Madness should be played without fans doing the coronavirus. You've seen this over and over, these things where... There's no participation. They just had the one championship martial arts the weekend, or in the last week, with no audience. Normally, they got 12, 15,000, same as these guys. That's the new norm now. Must be, must be pretty weird being an athlete. Public health experts call coronavirus a pandemic. Bro. We are clearly in a pandemic. Ooh, World Health Organization is going to get you and spank you. The only reason we're not saying it is because of politics. Professor of Infectious Diseases at the University of Nebraska Medical Center. It's about time somebody said it. <coughs> I'm mentioning no names here. It's a pandemic if you can no longer keep it to a Pacific Geographic area. Well, <laughs> what? That's a pandemic. It was a pandemic as soon as it went to Korea and it locked 2.5 million people to extra. Well, when China locked down 760 million people, that's a pandemic. That's a, you know, that's gone to the four winds. China officials knew of coronavirus in December in order to cover up reports, said. Huh? Say it ain't true. Chinese scientists knew about the coronavirus and deadly effect as early as December. 
were ordered by the government officials to suppress the evidence according to a report by another chicken neck. The researchers alerted Beijing of the findings on January the 3rd and received gag orders from the Chinese National Health Commission and instructions to destroy the samples. <laughs> Maniacs, eh? That's like, that's as maniac as it gets. But instructions to destroy the samples. I actually got six gag orders from the nuclear industry here in Canada because I'm so lovable. I'm so huggable. Brits at Tenerife, a coronavirus hotel will be allowed back to the UK if they test negative. If they will be allowed back if you're negative. What happens if you're positive? That's too bad for Sammy. We'll be allowed back home if they test negative. But we've seen this a lot. Different countries doing that when it was the cruise ships, right? They, and then they find like, frigate, we'll take them off. We got boxes, we'll stick them in a the box. Have received notifications from the public health in England that they're free to return home pending a negative test. If not... You're not a Brit no more, scum. Four guests originally tested positive for the virus, prompting authorities to lock down a, a thousand people. Does that sound like the, they surround the hotel with police on top of that? Does that sound like a, a flu to you? It's like, uh, I, I must have been asleep for a couple of uh, decades because I've never heard tell of it. And so they won't even sequester themselves in the room. They're like, friggin', I'm going out in the roof, sunbathing. You got kids putting SOS on them. Get us the frig out of this loony tune. Police walking around, ready to pounce on you. Not as bad as China, I bet, but just as get a big fine and go to jail. Here comes the coronavirus pandemic. Ooh, you can't say that. You can't say pandemic. World Health Organization is going to get you and punch you in the nose for doing that. The global pandemic is all but certain. Coronavirus outbreak could force the UK to shut down cities. <laughs> Still not a pandemic, Dana. So the World Health Organization says it is. Mm -hmm. Video shows air taxi bringing medical supplies. These are great big drones, eh? Let's bring that on a big shot, full screen, a full screen for everybody. So uh, you can see it lifting. Oh, we'll get to it. Look at China, right? All skyscrapers between the mountains, eh? It's crazy. It's amazing. Edward Su. Oh, yeah. It flies. And we can bring medical. This is unmanned. I think they got somebody on the other end with remote control landing it, though. As you can see, people run away after. And then it comes in and lands with medical supplies, and they can go out, because if, if they try to bring it on the road, the cops will, will jack the load and beat the shit out of them, so they got to fly it, see? And uh, that's a pretty good-looking cooler you had there, mister. And now the first passenger. I'm proud to be the first passenger for the emergency test. Wee doggy. The whole journey proved to be safe, fast, and smooth. You're not a bootlicker at all, are you? All you got to do is just sit there and glide. Don't got to do jack shit. That's pretty cool. I take it a couple of million of them up in the sky. France urged caution on Sunday's mass to curb coronavirus. So give them another day, they'll ban it. Air France, as France institutes a ban on gatherings of 5,000 people or bigger to stop the coronavirus, the health minister has urged people attending Sunday's church services to take precautions. Like what? Sneezes travels 200 feet, buddy. 
As to empty containers of holy water at the entrances, so people dipping their fingers into contaminated water, which is actually a really good idea because we cover the studies. Seattle resident dies from coronavirus. Bloomberg, coronavirus message to air on primetime TV after the billionaire buys three minutes on sh scumbag CBS and NBC shitheads. Mike Bloomberg. Don't say it, Dana. Don't say it. I can't help it. I had to put him in one of those cannons to fire people out of. And you can figure out the rest. I wonder what he, anybody's seen that? I haven't seen it yet, so we don't know what he's saying, right? But apparently he's got input. He's, to fight corona, he's a notorious scumbag, right? To fight coronavirus, France urges no more greetings with kisses and bans large gathering. Oh, and handshakes. Coronavirus is different. Almost no company is safe. Triathlon World Series Abu Dhabi postponed due. So you see all these events being canceled worldwide. All stakeholders are working tirelessly against the clock to find a new date to host the event. The final two stages of the cycling were called off on Thursday after two riders tested positive. Now we got the weird old land. The pilgrims are going down licking shrines to prove they're not afraid of dying. I'm licking this, and I don't care whatever happens. Proceeds to lick it. These are weirdos as it gets. So these, they don't want these people to gather because there's a pandemic happening, right? And so they're like, we don't care. It's good. I like it. I want to die for my Lord. I'm here to lick the tomb so I can fall ill, says Bird Brain Dummy. Not only that, he wipes it all over his face, too. No kissing, please. We're Swiss. Switzerland don't want anybody kissing either. She considered dropping the everyday greeting, kissy, kissy each other on cheeks to avoid spreading the coronavirus. Yes, uh, well, we got to wait now for the World Health Organization to show up way late in the game to, to all of a sudden they're the boss. That's just stupid. Pretty gullible if that's how you're going to look at this. You're just asking to get sick. One will be immediately, just immediately stop shaking hands, stop kissing each other on the cheeks. Quite a few countries now are today saying that. The Defense Department expects coronavirus will likely become a global pandemic in 30 days. But that's, of course, if they get permission from the World Health Organization first. It's not even supposed to exist. It's not so much a question of if this will happen anymore, but rather more a question of exactly when this will happen and how many people in the country will have severe illnesses. Because they only got so many hospital beds and they got so many respirators. So the rest of you is too bad. World Health Organization rejected classifying the outbreak as a pandemic, claiming it doesn't change the response measures and can cause unnecessary fear. fear. So the reason they're not going to call it a pandemic is because it's going to cause unnecessary fear. We've seen the same thing about radiation fallout. Well, we didn't want people uh, to, have, to panic. They've done that in America, United States, and many countries after Japan melted down. That was their, that was their excuse. It's outrageous. They're so incompetent because their parents had a job, their parents had a job, their parents had a job. The current generation are incompetent and incapable, right? The World Health Organization rejected classifying the outbreak. Didn't want to cause unnecessary fear. That's the only reason they're not doing it, folks. Is that acceptable? That the rest of the world sits and waits for them to get their courage? I think the world is going to turn on them in the next few weeks. But that's where the situation is headed, according to Shithead. She said two criteria of a pandemic that virus cause illnesses 
resulting in death and sustained person-to-person -person spread have already been met. We're moving closer to meeting the third criteria, worldwide spread. Well, I got some news for you, and you're soon going to find out it's true, that it's worldwide. Calm down, World Health Organization tells the global market not to panic after the coronavirus wipes five trillion off stocks. It's actually almost six trillion. Right there, love to play it down. Number one thing is just take a digit away. Calm down. The World Health is supposed to be helping countries deal with a pandemic instead of out there doing stuff like this, out there on TikTok making videos, out there trying to control the narratives. Their job wasn't supposed to do anything like that. So why are they doing it? It's because they're not, they can't do their other job because they might get sick, so they're just going to yell at you to shut up. The virus sent the global stock market into a tailspin. Earlier the week, the worst since the 2008 financial crash. Well, that was a manufactured crash, right? That, that was the mortgage crash. I looked it up so we could talk about it. The, the 2008 financial crisis was the worst economic disaster since the Great Depression of 1929. And so the 2008 crisis... Uh, where housing prices dropped more than the price plunged during the Depression. Two years after the recession ended, unemployment was still above 9% since the Great Depression, 1929. So the 2008 financial crisis downturn since the Great Depression was the biggest one. The housing market created an asset bubble in 2006. Banks bundled the bad home loans with good ones and sold them as a mortgage, which was fraud, right? Back to securities. So the investors who brought those derivatives believed that they were insurance protected. It was total fraud. And then the government bailed out the two big to fail banks, which is, was totally against uh, logic by doing something like that. That's not what you're supposed to do. Right? And then they left the whole, then they took it over, made big coin off it, wiping out. So the virus sent the global stock market in a tailspin earlier this week. But that, that, that was $5 trillion. It was almost $6 trillion last week. Monday, tomorrow, they're probably going to lose $6 trillion tomorrow when, stock, when uh, trading opens again. The analysts also warned the total impact of the epidemic might not be seen for weeks, so as there's a huge lag in data. That's a very, 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 very important part of this equation. But only three official cases, Africa's low coronavirus rate puzzles health experts. A remarkably small numbers for a continent with 1.2 billion people. Well, first off, they don't have the resources. They don't have the equipment. They don't even have the will because they've already been beaten down for many generations, right? And so they're just out there. Uh, they're going to pay me $7 an hour to go out there and check people's temperatures, which only gets 2% of the population that's sick. Ethiopia Airlines, the largest uh, African airline, never suspended its flights. We covered that to China since the epidemic began. Yet they only got three cases. Do you get what's happening? And then they got a very, um, it's not a good word, I suppose, but they got a completely dysfunctional medical system that would be absolutely overwhelmed in zero time once this manifests and gets diagnosed and shows up. France closed the biggest museum in the world because workers are afraid they're going to get the virus. So Seoul, South Korea, explores murder charges against the church at the center of the South Korea corona. So they want to charge murder, murder charges. It's crazy stuff. Hospital burned down in Iran due to coronavirus fears. Rumors started circulating people from 
Another town infected with Crohn vid 19 had been admitted to the hospital, but there was nobody apparently to the hospital admitted. But there's people dropping dead in the streets in Iran, right? I, I got that coming up. Tokyo, so there's more to that story than they're alluding to right there. Tokyo Marathon features empty streets, signs that ask, refrain from watching. They don't want you watching the marathon. Slim down version, one of the world's largest races took to the streets of Tokyo on Sunday. Its officials in Japan take extensive measures to curb the spread of the coronavirus ahead of the Olympics that are actually not going to happen. Tokyo Marathon was cut back to about 200 runners, far shorter. It was actually 47,000 or 57,000. Now they're, they're, they're dropping the number down to 30,000 who typically participated in the race to reduce the risks of spreading the virus. you got people running through the streets with nobody else. These are usually incredible large events because they, they pump a lot of money into it, right? I'm personally glad there's nobody there. The Olympics shouldn't exist as, if you actually look at what happens. They leave police states behind, and they displace the vulnerable people in the areas where they're having it permanently and destroy their lives. According to the Wall Street Journal's Alistair Gale race staff, race staff for the marathon held up signs at train stations that in Tokyo, please refrain from coming to watch the marathon at the subway stations. One of six preseason baseball games played at an empty stadium. There's usually like 60,000, 80,000 at these events, right? Now they're empty. Man, never, ever, ever seen anything like this. Ever heard tell of anything like this? Coronavirus Iran video shows COVID-19 infected Iranians, including a young kid, collapsing on the street. We seen uh, I done I provided that a couple of weeks ago. It was three three uh, five year old six year old children in a single body bag. This is a kid can't keep his balance and falls down, allegedly. There's a lot of that happening throughout the cities. Another video shows suspected coronavirus patients lying still on the platform train station. A video filmed on a busy Iranian street showed a man lying unconscious. And a video filmed inside a shopping mall when a man collapsed suddenly while scared passerboys are seen covering their faces swiftly to avoid getting infected. But uh, there's big business now in demonized Iranians for a number of decades now. Americans got 50, uh, 49 military bases around Iran and threatening them. They got nuclear weapons, biological, chemical weapons, and all of these. They're carrying out electronic digital warfare in the country and the banking system. Um, the military industrial machine. It's just unbelievably disgusting. Multiple sources from Iran, however, claim that the Iranian regime has been playing down the numbers. The numbers of those who died exceeds 500 dead people, they're alleging. But we'll know before the end of the week is out if that's true or not. Italy says it's coronavirus infections. Uh, see, this alert jumped 40% to 1,576 at 34 dead and climbing. Rumors now that a pope has the coronavirus. The novel coronavirus can likely live up to 96 hours on phone screens, which is four days, right? But... Sneezing can carry the coronavirus as far as three to six feet or one to two meters, says the useful idiot. <laughs> Sneezes go 200 feet in studies, right? And so you, this is the World Health Organization narrative. Right? We, we covered this many times now in the last number of weeks. 
The World Health Test, one of the first things to come in and said, oh, well, I can only stay on surfaces for 30 minutes to three hours. It's actually nine days. And uh, it, it can only go about six feet, so we're lucky there. Actually, it can travel 200 feet, and this stays in the air sustained. It's stupid. So anyway, they're sunburned. They're going to have this big patch around their face. <laughs> big patch around their face. And you, Now, we've seen they're spraying entire cities. Just the legions of armies of these people. China uh, located just in one go. 43 billion, right? We covered that. It's really something. Well, that's what we got for you. That's all she wrote. It's the best I could do. I'm not feeling that great, but it's better to be cheery than it is miserable. And if you agree with that worldwide and watching this show tonight, give us a thumbs up on YouTube. We appreciate it. it costs as little and it goes a long way. Put me in your bookmarks so you can find me later. You can share me out there and that'd be pretty cool. I wouldn't mind that at all. That's right, I wouldn't mind it at all. Give us a like anyway. Most people can manage to do that, right? Just doing the best you can, just a man. God bless everybody. Thank you for finding the time, the courage, fortitude. Look for the truth and hang it out and hear it out. Because that's what we bring you. We bring you the truth. We bring you the facts. We bring you the reality. There's no sugar coat in it. You're big enough. You can handle the truth. My job is not to deceive you. That's what they're doing. My job is to show you they're deceiving you so you can make informed decisions for you and your loved ones. God bless you and yours. We'll see you all soon, right? Take care.